I know you guys are excited about Next Generation just as much as I am, and I want to do my biggest giveaway ever. I'm giving away an Xbox Series S to one lucky subscriber. If you want to win this Xbox Series S, all you have to do is follow me on this YouTube channel, follow me on my Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. I will pick a random person on November 10th when the console releases, and I will pick one, and I will send one to you. So, do those things if you want a freaking Xbox Series S. Game! Pass it to the pack. It is pack here. AKA your mama's best friend. And we have more screenshots of NBA 2K21. I talked about the ratings and the next generation ratings and how they got upgraded. But this time I want to show you guys some graphics comparison because there's a bunch of new faces and face scans and I want to compare them to last gen to show you guys how impressive the graphics are from last generation. But before this video starts though, be an OG, join the pack and subscribe and help this channel get to 300,000 subscribers. I feel like we can get there. We're pretty close. So, the first player I want to introduce to you guys in this video is Jimmy Butler. I have him at number one because I do feel that he is the least upgraded. In fact, I don't really see any change at all. So I do think that the beard, if you can see on this beard, it was updated. It is a little more filled in and it's a little bit longer. That's really it. The hair is the same. The face scan, the ears, like I think everything is almost the same. The only thing that you can tell that there are clear differences is the eyes and the mouth, specifically like the teeth and the tongue look a lot more realistic in my opinion. So there is that. And then the facial expression, you see it extend the nose or stretch the nose out, which is also a lot more realistic, him winking at the camera. So there's that. But at the end of the day, in terms of face scan, I do think that they literally just copied and pasted and barely updated his beard. But this does show you something. What does this show you is that next generation, even if the face scans are the same, you can see the little difference, like the detail on the hair, the detail on the beard, the detail in the mouth, and the lighting has all been adjusted. And that's like the main focus of this next generation. Up next is at number two, Jalen Brown, another player that I think looks pretty identical, like almost straight up the same you do see some changes in the lighting which is again the main focus and again the eyes are a little more convincing the lighting around the nose is a lot more realistic and the mouth but besides that he literally has the exact same face scan with the exact same hair i guess you could say the hair feels a little more real and you can see the texture of the hair a little bit more but besides that it is basically the same i will say though to give this its fair shake this is not in 4K. I'm going to remind you guys, the next generation is going to be in 4K. Well, this is in 1080p, and this photo is in 1080p, so it is not as accurate. But still, this one's pretty disappointing. Another Celtics player is Kemba Walker. Again, same situation of like a little more filling, a little more lighting, but it's like almost the same. The only one on the Celtics that was kind of updated was obviously Jason Tatum. The biggest part, obviously, is the beard. It is clearly updated to be a lot more realistic to how he has it today because his beard has, is filled out. He finally hit puberty. I mean, this is what happened. But, but again, maybe, like, the lighting is, is a little... I mean, the skin color is a little different, maybe, but, like, the hair is the same. The face scan is the same. Everything is the same besides the mouth, lighting, skin, and also beard, and that's really it. Up next, at number three, it is Rudy Gobert. This one is straight up the same. I mean, he's always had this problem in 2K of he looks like a like a claymation. Like, he looks like he's made out of clip like Play-Doh, but it's fake. It looks weird. But on the left, I guess it's a little better. It looks a little better in terms of the lighting. The ear seems updated, but the facial hair is the same. The face itself is the same. Maybe the nose is updated a little bit. But, like, this one's pretty bad. At number four on the list is Luka Doncic. I do think... Uh, let me just clarify. Obviously, the left is the next generation. Right is current generation. Just want to clarify that. But... Obviously, you can see some changes like the facial hair. You can even see individual little pieces of hair. So I guess that there's that but like This one's the same again. In fact, I'd say it looks a little worse at least on the eyes like eh, I don't know I, I just think that a lot of these I feel that they are doing straight up copy and paste and the lighting is the least impressive on this one like straight up you, I mean there's obviously a lighting change but like it's very like minimal at number five is the first one that I'm going to say that they straight up made better and they like they graphically improved and the face scans are updated but Trey Young's is easily the worst I mean oh my god it looks like a lollipop with hair on it it is terrible they gave more hair to the facial hair so there's that he has a little bit of a tattoo on the bottom left there the hair i think is the worst part i mean the skin tone is accurate they changed the face scan to make it more like 
I guess proportional, but that's just not how Trey Young is. So it looks weird. And then the hair on the top of the head is nothing like how he has it. It's it's awful. So that's this one's pretty bad. But I do think graphically it looks better. At number six, right here is Kevin Durant. So they updated Kevin Durant on the right in the current generation, and then they updated him again in the next gen. It's little things that they did. I think the facial hair is almost the same. Maybe like the beard is a little different, but like for the most part, it's almost the same. KD's hair is kind of had like the LeBron treatment where it's kind of like fading away and messing up. But they kind of made it back to normal on next gen, which is kind of a weird decision. But I still do. I still think that it does look better on the left, and it still looks like Kevin Durant a lot more. At number seven on this list, it is Giannis Antetokounmpo, MVP of the NBA. You can see the f like the fibers on his muscles stretch out, which is interesting to see. The neck also is extending, so that's a little more realistic. They gave him a beard finally. I mean, it's it's been about time that they do that. The hair is a little longer. The fade's a little more accurate. I like the facial expression. It's a lot more like realistic to how Giannis does his face when he dunks, which I mean, he does do that. It's really good. The lighting is perfect. This is one of the few ones. Like, if I'm going to show my friends the, the change in graphics, this is where I'd start. You can even see, like, the little bumps on his forehead, his skin complexion. You can see the little details, and you're going to see that even better in 4K. This is one of the better ones, and even the ears updated, in my opinion. At number eight on this list is LeBron James. When I first saw this one, I thought it was barely updated, but when you really stare at it, it's, it's clear. The most obvious thing is the width of his face. It is a lot more wider, and that's a lot more realistic to LeBron James. When he was younger, maybe, yeah, LeBron's face was skinny, but now LeBron has like a wider face. The beard comes out a little more and makes it look a lot more dramatic. And also you can see the little details on his skin, like the little ripples and like little bumps on his face and forehead. That's a lot more realistic and the lighting itself. So I love this one a lot too. And the face LeBron makes is, is very realistic to him. Up next at number seven is one of the most impressive ones, Devin Booker. I mean, from the left to the right, it is completely different. It is so much more realistic on the left side. The skin color is a lot more realistic. The beard has been added. The hair color is now not black anymore. It's like a really like dark brown. But you can see the details, even like the little things on his eyebrow, where he has like imperfections on his eyebrows. His eyes seem a lot more genuine and realistic. And then the mouth, all these little details that they change and fix makes it feel a lot more real and genuine. And I like this one a lot. And then finally on this list is easily, easily, easily the best one, James Harden. So I always felt that the beard on James Harden's face on the right was always a little odd. And you can tell on the left, it is just a lot better. You can see the detail on the teeth and the mouth is so much more realistic. The detail on his eyebrow, his eyes a lot more realistic, the nose is fixed, the lighting, the hair is updated to where he has it now, and the, like the, the neck veins, it's just, this one is, if you if anyone ever asks, are the graphics better, show them the Curry one, the Clay Thompson one, and the James Harden one, this, and then even in the James Harden one, you see how his head is like really rounded, that is how he has it, but now like you can see that even that, it doesn't matter because of his hair. And then on the forehead, you can even see the veins coming out. Like that is little details that is really, really impressive and showing you how crazy and far we're coming graphic wise. It is awesome. What do you guys think about these graphics? I think definitely the James Harden one was the most impressive. Leave it in the comments below. And if you like this channel, give it a sub and I'll see you guys next time.